Okay, everyone. I'm excited. I love movies. I love to watch movies and see what's in store for us. Kind of as a nice symbol, I was, I was on uh, Facebook today and I was scrolling down and, um, and it, was a, it was a face shot of Keanu Reeves. And the message underneath it, it said, The Matrix was a documentary. <laughs> Ooh, because that's a neat idea. Imagine if The Matrix was a documentary. And some of you remember The Matrix came out, wasn't that about 1999, I think? The end of the millennium. Same time The Truman Show came out, the same time this movie, Australian movie uh, Dark City came out all kind of showing the underbelly of the unconscious mind that is coming up for healing. It's almost like at the end of the millennium, the Spirit was bringing in all these movies to say, are you ready to wake up? You know, I'll show you what's underneath uh, the Matrix. Uh, and the Matrix, you know, when it was like a masterpiece, because it was action-adventure, it had Keanu Reeves in it, it and they're dressed in these slick, dark suits, Trinity. Uh, but um, basically these movies help us uh, remember that, that there's a construct, there's an artificial world that we perceive and that our reality is beyond this world. And when the world is all you know, from birth to death, seemingly, then it takes, it takes a lot of help from the Spirit to really take you inward through that ring of fear, through that darkness, and uh, most all of us, ex we seem to be experiencing it as if we're a dream character and things just keep happening to us, and some of them are hard to handle. Uh, they're pretty, pretty difficult to handle, and um, now we have great metaphysics, we've got great movies, we've got a of Course in Miracles monastery, we've got all kinds of mighty companions to join with on the internet and wherever we choose to go and, and open our hearts up, there's so much support coming in for the Great Awakening, we could call it. I would say it's, it's kind of like in The Wizard of Oz when Toto starts to pull the curtain uh, back a bit on the wizard, and the wizard's not too happy that this dog is pulling the curtain because there's this big face on the screen and Dorothy and the lion and all the characters are trembling, afraid of this big character, Oz. And then Toto slips away out of uh, Dorothy's arms and pulls the curtain back and it's this man uh, who's like, uh, Pay no attention! He grabs the microphone to magnify his voice. He's that microphone. And, you know, it's a, it's, he's trying to scare. He's trying to scare them, scare all the characters, and really he's just pulling all the levers and using all this technology to scare the main characters, Dorothy and, and all of them. But the dog will not be uh, taken by the ruse. The dog pulls the curtain back. In some way, I think this is a little bit of pulling the curtain back on this world a little bit. And now we've got all these great movies, including The Matrix, we've got these great metaphysics of the Course, where Jesus is saying, well, it's, like I said earlier, it's just that as long as you believe in the ego, then the ego is distracting you from who you really are. And you're having a difficult experience with this alternate self that God didn't create. This make-believe puff of nothing, this, that's really a death wish. So it's like, don't play with fire. It's like Jesus is saying now, it's not the best tactic to play with a death wish, uh, to even defeat it with your mind's energy, because, you know, if you believe in the ego, then you believe in sin. Sin is missing the mark about who your true identity is. Sin is, is it's not a black mark on your soul, uh, which a lot of us were taught, uh, you know, it's like a permanent black mark on your soul, but it's, it is uh, perceived 
by the Holy Spirit as an error to be corrected. And in fact, the Holy Spirit has already corrected it. So, it's just an error asking for correction. And it's already been accomplished. So now that's why we have to follow the guidance of Jesus and the Holy Spirit to accept the correction for our mind. It's one thing to, to see the witness of, of Jesus, you know, sharing the Holy Spirit's words, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father but through me, uh, transcending time and space, overcoming death, overcoming temptation, overcoming self-doubt, and, and accepting the I am-ness that all of us are. And in that sense, it's just a way-shower. And kind of like uh, in the Matrix, you know, Neo is, that's the whole journey of Neo coming to experience himself as the One. Neo's journey in the Matrix is all of our journeys. We're, we're learning to follow guidance, and his teacher at the time, Morpheus, says, I can guide you, but you must do exactly as I say. That's like the Holy Spirit. I can guide you, but you must do exactly as I say. It, Jesus says, it would be wise to follow a guide that uh, that is truly helpful, that has transcended time and space, that, that, has, that is able to look beyond the error and see the innocence, see the love, see the light, see the truth. That's a guide you would want to follow. You would be wise, he says, you would be wise to follow. 